runaway engine. It was still early when Millie, the Earl of Sodor's narrow gauge engine, arrived at the Blue Mountain Quarry. Hello, Billy. Have you come to help us out again today? No, not this time, Scalloy. I'm collecting gravel for the Earl of Sodor's Dino Park. Come on, Millie. The gravel crush is this way, remember? Luke, so good to see you. How are things at the castle? Very busy. Stephen and Glynn are giving tours all day long. <laughs> Millie was right. Stephen and Glynn had lots of visitors, waiting to be taken round the castle and grounds. Enjoy the tour! The old coffee pot's not quite as experienced as I am, but he does his best. <laughs> Maybe not as experienced, Stephen, but I am considerably younger. <laughs> Touché, my friend! <laughs> <clears throat> now simmer down, you two, and listen. Millie isn't here today, so I'll need you both to help out. Oh, won't be a problem for us, sir. Tomorrow, Millie well, and I Well, it's not exactly rocket science early. now, is it, Stephen? You oh, can oh, 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 for the castle turntable. Oh, oh, you are listening, aren't you? Oh, yes, sir. Uh, sorry, sir. Uh, what is it you'd like us to do? Glynn, I need you to bring up coal for the fires later today. And Stephen... Can you collect the garden waste as soon as possible, please? I'll rock it over there right now, sir! Pee! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> oh. Ah! Oh! Um. Right after this next tour. So, who's looking after your job at the castle today? Stephen and Glynna. We always help each other out when there's extra work to be done. Did you manage to collect that garden waste? Uh, I'll get on to it shortly. <laughs> I didn't want to keep my fans waiting. <laughs> but when Millie returned, the garden waste was still at the side of the track, waiting to be moved. Hmm, I guess they didn't get to that job yet. She didn't worry about it at first, as she had her own work to do. Hmm, I thought Glyn or Stephen were going to deal with that. But when it was still there by late afternoon, she was completely fed up. I can't believe they've left that waste for me to move. Hmm. We'll see about that. When Stephen passed by later, the garden waste had all gone. Oh, I guess Glynn's moved it. <laughs> nice one, the old coffee pot. <laughs> but Stephen was wrong. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, what? Oh, oh, oh. Who put this garden waste here? It wasn't me. Oh, it must have been Millie then. Oh, that's not fair at all. It wasn't fair to leave it for me when I have so many other jobs to do. Hm. Oh, she's got quite a temper, Eglin. <laughs> it wasn't fair to leave it for me. <laughs> oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, I didn't mean for her to hear that. Oh, do you think I should go and apologise? Let's move all that garden waste first. Millie's bound to calm down soon. It's only a little misunderstanding between friends. You're right. I'll say sorry first thing tomorrow. But the next morning, <gasps> Millie was nowhere to be found. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> oh, well, I never. Sorry. Standing by me. Where could Millie be? 
Nobody Stephen asked had seen Millie at all. Okay, no need to be rude. Oh dear, I never meant to upset her. <gasps> what if I've upset her so much that she's run away? There you are, Stephen. No, have you and Millie made up yet? Oh, Glynn, I haven't been able to find her. Oh, dear. I haven't seen her either. <gasps> then Millie must have run away. Yeah. Oh, oh, I have to find her and bring her home. <laughs> Piao, Stephen. Piao. Because Millie could only travel on the narrow gauge tracks, Lily! Oh, Stephen knew there weren't many places she could have run away to. Millie! Oh, this isn't in the brochure! Millie! So, Stephen took the long way around to get to Groven's Gate. And where are we going now? Maybe she's run into trouble, or even danger, and it will be all my <laughs> No, no, no! I'm not out of water. Now I'm the one in trouble. Oh, and what's going on now? I'm so sorry. I forgot to fill up with water. Well, really? And to think they once called you the rocket. Oh, what a terrible day. Who knows how long it will be till I get rescued. <laughs> Sir Robert? <laughs> Millie? I thought you'd run away. Oh, what on earth made you think that? Well, first I forgot to clean up the... the well, then you overheard me say... The, well, so when I couldn't find you... I... <laughs> oh, Stephen, the Earl and I left very early to collect a new motor for the castle turntable. Oh, I did tell you and Lynn yesterday, but you weren't listening. No, sir. But I'm so relieved you're all right, Millie. Oh, Stephen, it was just a misunderstanding. And I upset you first by dumping that garden waste in front of your shed. But your two misunderstandings have stranded these tourists halfway across the island. I'm so sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. <clears throat> oh, Sir Robert! I really must complain about the tour I have just taken. Oh, must you really, sir? Oh, I'd say uh, you're lucky to have had an extended tour of Sodor. Uh, but, uh, but in the Bruce... I, I won't charge you a penny extra, and I'll even throw in some free tea and cake when you get back to the castle. <laughs> That's definitely not in the brochure. <laughs> Oh, Millie, thank you again for rescuing me. That's what friends do, Stephen. And where on earth have you two been? I've been left here on my own doing everything. Ooh, he's got quite a temper, eh, Stephen? And where on earth have you two been?